now to further the college football talk is the head coach of the Ohio State Buckeyes, Coach Jim Tressel. Coach, thanks so much for joining us. Great to be here, Jesse. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Now that you're here, it's way better. Now, it's been about five months, obviously, since the loss to LSU in the national championship game. Have you been able to completely digest that? Has the team been able to move past that as you look forward towards the next season? How, what are your thoughts on that game? Well, we've had to move past it because we had to jump right into recruiting and you know how critical that is and then you're on into spring practice and you get to evaluate what you're doing and what maybe we could have done better in a game like the LSU game and, and now here we are getting ready to turn the page and start another season. You guys had so much success last year. You have 20 starters coming back on this year's squad. Obviously there are huge, huge expectations on your team this year. How prepared is this team as you look forward to the new season? You know, I think that's going to be the big question. You know, we have tremendous talent back. We have good maturity, I think. You know, what's going on in between our ears is going to be the important thing. But we're very capable of being a very, very good football team, and they're working hard. That's what I wanted to ask you. You know, you got a team with so much seniority on it. Here's a bunch of guys that have played in two consecutive national championship games. How do you keep it fresh, and how do you keep it motivating to a team heading into this year that's already accomplished so much over the past two seasons? You know, one thing that we've tried to do is change up some things. Our spring ball is a little bit more cerebral. Uh, our summer has changed a little bit. Our preseason is going to be a little bit different than it was because we've got 40 guys entering years four or five in our program, and we do want to keep it fresh, as you say. Well, we've heard a lot about Terrell Pryor. He's now on campus with you guys. A lot of people thought he was the best quarterback, maybe the best player in all of high school football. What can we expect from him this year? You know, I think that many people have felt that he's probably – in the top two quarterbacks in all of North America, you and he, you know, in the, <laughs> Obviously. the past. Well, uh, once he go north of that border? That's right. You know, but he's a hard worker. He's a guy that uh, he's in the weight room early. He's in the film room. He and Todd Beckman and Joe Bowserman spending time together. I think he's going to be a very good leader, very competitive. Uh, he's just a great kid to be around. We haven't had a chance to coach him yet, and so we got to make sure we don't follow him up. And then come preseason, we'll see how we can integrate them into our system. There's a huge game for you guys coming up in September. All college football fans have this game circled right now. It's the game, obviously, at USC. How important is that game for your program? Well, that's a, a great opportunity. It's a great reminder when you go to a place like Ohio State, you have a chance to play in the big stage with the likes of USC. And I know the folks in Southern California are excited. I know the people in Ohio are excited. And probably coast to coast, everyone wants to see two outstanding programs. And they're a great team. And you know, it's just going to be a great thing to be a part of that game. Is there any chance just for this year only that game might be bigger than the Michigan game? It will be on September 13th. That's not that very good answer. You know, come November. I don't think so. I'll tell you what, I still, I still think that Michigan Ohio State game is the best is the best rivalry game in all college football, no question. So let's do some over and under. Let's get a chance to get to know you a little bit better here. Okay. You're a Cleveland Indians fan. Absolutely. All right. The number of wins for CC Sabathia this year in Milwaukee, over or under 10? He's 2 and already at the break. CC is probably going to be over, over 10 wins. He's looking pretty good. CC is a player. Hated to lose him. <laughs> Hated to lose it. Looking good for the Brewers. Yeah. Right? That's great for them. Yeah. Now, your wife Ellen is a big time golfer. She just won a tournament recently, didn't she? She did. She won a mixed couples tournament. She did not invite me to be part of that couple, but uh, at any rate, that was recruiting is what sports is all about, and she won a big tournament. Well, that might help answer this question then. You and her are facing each other on the golf course. Okay. You're playing 18 holes. Okay. How many shots does she beat you by over or under 10? Oh, over. She beats what number are you looking at? 30-ish. So that means she probably beats me about 50. Okay. So she's, she's not going to pick you for a team either, then. <laughs> Obviously not. I should expect that invite anytime soon. You've patented the sweater vest and the sidelines. Over or under, how many different sweater vests, different types, will you wear this year? Over or under three? Under. Just two types. Really? A scarlet one and a gray one. Scarlet one for away games? Scarlet one for away games because we're in the light jerseys. And the gray one at home, because to find this little guy on the sideline, I have to have a contrasting color. Oh, those big giants? Well, I can imagine. Okay, well, here's a tough one. Wins for the Ohio State Buckeyes football program this year, over or under 10? That's a tough one. Had a lot of wins the last time. sure time. like to be over. Yeah, absolutely. Coach, you wrote the winner's manual for the game of life. Tell us a little bit about the book. Well, for many years, uh, I've had a chance to grow through great relationships with coaches and I had a chance to grow up with my father who was a great coach and and read a lot of good coaching books and uh, our SID brought me a little list of the birthdays of all the division one coaches and like I was 
like in two-thirds of the way down the list, I'm getting to be an old guy. And so I thought, you know, maybe it was my chance to, to write a little bit about all that I've had a chance to learn, and, and that not just about the game of football, but about growing up young people and, and helping them prepare themselves in life. And uh, we have a manual that we use with our players called the Winner's Manual that we've used for 23 years, and it's been a great thing for our young people. And so we put it together in a book and partnered with Tyndale House Publishers, and, and uh, hopefully we'll add value to a lot of people's lives, not just athletic type folks, but people across the board. Well, Coach, thanks so much for joining us here on First Take, and best of luck in the upcoming season. Thanks, Jesse. All right. Well, coming up, we still have...